Who is the greatest leader that you know? I'd like to suggest that Jesus is the greatest religious leader that ever existed. Some people see him as the most influential person who ever lived on this earth. You see, Jesus himself was unique. And that was purely because there is nobody else that can even come close to comparing. But the real test of who Jesus is must revolve around what he managed to accomplish while living on this earth, but also what he actually said about himself. The major theme of the Bible is all about who Jesus is and what he did. You see, he left the comforts of his heavenly world to come down to this world, to be born here, to be 100% human. But then he died by crucifixion, the most horrendous way for any person to die. He was then buried but then remarkably rose from the dead. He is our all-sufficient Savior. I'd like you to please open your Bible, and I'm going to the, the book of John, and it's the very first chapter of John. So we are looking at John chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. And it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. You see, this verse on its own clearly clarifies that Jesus was there right from the very beginning of time. What is really interesting in life is when your very enemy themselves confirms who you are, you know who you are. It becomes very, very clear. And so I would like you to please turn with me to John chapter 5, and I'm reading verse 18. And this is where Jesus was performing healings on the Sabbath day. And the Jews were not happy about this, and so they persecuted him. So chapter 5, verse 18 reads, it says, For this reason the Jews tried all the harder to kill him. Not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his own father, making himself equal with God. Jesus' enemies themselves were threatened by who Jesus was. And so they tried to kill him. But you see, Jesus is a remarkable person because nobody could ever take his place. He was completely sinless. And so I'd like you to turn with me to 2 Corinthians, and that is chapter 5, verses 21. And so that reads, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. You see, Jesus was the only person that could do what he came here to do, and that was to be our Savior. There was nobody else that could have done that, because there was nobody else that was sinless. Only Jesus met that very criteria. And so we see Jesus performing a lot of miracles. He heals the sick, he feeds the hungry, and he even raises the dead. And throughout the Gospels, within the Bible, so that's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, we see that at least a quarter of the text makes reference to the passion of Jesus as well as his resurrection. Just giving you an illustration as to how important this very gospel message is. And so I would like to just end by sharing one last verse. And so if you could please turn with me to Acts chapter 5 and verse 31. So Acts chapter 5 verse 31 says, God exalted him 
to his own right hand as prince and saviour, that he might give repentance and forgiveness of sins to Israel. Once again, friends, I just want to share with you that the Bible confirms with us exactly who Jesus was, what he came to do on this earth, and God himself exalted him. Only Jesus himself could take on our sin. Only he could be that substitute. And that clarifies Jesus as therefore being 100% divine, but 100% human as well. And it is all confirmed in the very word of God. Friends, I want to tell you that the Bible and Jesus are real. They are true. And I'd like you to explore them more. Get to know Jesus and get to read the Bible so that you can understand exactly what it says about him. Hi, my name is Tanya Ghana. We're starting a new ministry, and so I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a good old like, and please feel free to add a comment below. If you've enjoyed the contents, we'd appreciate you to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time online.